All right, welcome back to the Self-Found Friends, episode number two, or whatever, number two. Number two. Um, we are now level six, and we're almost level seven. I did a bunch of grinding off camera because I wasn't in a position where I could record a video. So you can see I'm bundled up, bundled up pretty well right now because I'm out in the countryside, and it's like zero degrees Celsius. That's like, you know, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, I went to school, and uh, the door is open. There's no insulation. We don't even try to heat ourselves here. Well, actually, hold on. I got to turn it on. We do have one thing. At the tables, two of the tables in the house have a hot light underneath and like a blanket that drapes over the sides. So you put your the blanket on your legs so your legs are kind of in that hot air underneath, and it kind of warms you up pretty good. I'm going to plug it in right now. This table's lamp is not plugged in at the moment. So I want to apologize because I noticed that um, some sound levels weren't so great. So let me see here. Crank the game a little bit. I think uh, last time I was talking with somebody in Discord, it was coming through a bit loud. So, uh, oh, just so you can see, everybody look up. You can see on the wall here, the venerable Chairman Mao. There he is with a halo shining bright like Jesus himself. In the straight up Chinese countryside, my friends. Alright. So, we're really trying to hit at least 8. And if we could, it would be awesome to hit 9. By the time we have our Friday session with the hardcore characters. We're going to join in just like we did before. But we're going to be self-found. Uh, Kilowatt, he loved the self-found idea. He deleted his mage, who hadn't died yet. Well, hadn't died again yet. And fired up a self-found mage. And I think he said he's 5.5, but he might have made some progress since then. Um, Swifty kept his SK and um, he had a level 5 dwarf that he went back to and he took the gear off of it and did some gear quests in uh, Kaladin and he's been grinding hard and he's level 9 already on the Paladin so So um, we're talking right now. His paladin's name is Korvac, so he's going to have a little dwarf paladin. So we got a dwarf paladin, dark elf magician, and myself, Marlac the Shaman, on our self-found team. The self-found team will be complementing the hardcore team. And uh, we're all trying to catch our characters up to about the level they were before. I see Tom Core has still got his monk, and he's going to keep pushing with that, he says, until it dies. Um... And then he'll start the self-found. And it's a monk, so it could be a while. You know? We'll see. And who else? Uh, my friend Genli on the Cleric. Haven't heard from him for a while. He's not able to play very much, so we might not see much of him. But I sent him a message to let him know we're doing self-found. Maybe he'd prefer that and prefer to start again now. Because if you wait and you push the hardcore character and you don't do the self-found, when you die, you're going to start back at level 1. And it's self-found. Now, if you look at my character... I did kind of cheat a little bit, but it's not really cheating. I was in my town, and an enchanter saw me running by. I was like, hey, do you want to loot the shields off these guards? And I decided to accept. And were I doing like a real pure self-found, I would not, probably. I'm going to do that, actually. Another series in the making for me is a solo, hardcore self-found. I, I think that kind of hardcore I can get behind. I think... Uh, I just don't like the hardcore for the social thing because if someone dies, they're back at level one, right? And it also, you want to do something cool as a group. You don't want to just, let's get to get a group together and then let's go kill blues and in some outdoor safe zone near his own line. Yay, you know. So you can even see if you watch um, Classic's recent video where I'm playing my cleric and he's playing his ranger or my own version of it, which I think was just released. I, I kind of, I only want to do one a day, so I'm actually... The videos are a few days behind my, the reality. Um, you'll hear me talking in that video, and even in the video before that, I think, I wish we did self-found, I wish we did self-found. So, I have recorded evidence that I didn't just switch because I got frustrated when I died. 
and I'm and I'm enjoying it. It's so much more fun to have level appropriate weapons. Although now I do not have a level appropriate weapon. One of the guards he forgot to loot, and I looted a fine steel morning star, a long sword, and of course I got one of the round shields. The long sword I sold for about nine platinum, which allowed me to buy most of my spells. And I don't really feel so bad about that because my other shaman. He got up to level 8, and he had all his level 9 spells. I kind of, once I catch up to that point and catch up to the group, then I really want to go more pure self-core or self-found from there. But the little details in the beginning, I don't feel like they're that important. Now, I recently died, so that's why I got no spells on my bar. I, uh, I made the run to the guy who sells the Shaman Dots. He's up on this, like, hand in Inithul Swamp, and he's surrounded by mobs that are about level seven or eight so they're like white and yellow to me and uh they're, they're the mob density is insane over there so i got a couple on me and i'm like well i'll just let him beat me down hopefully i have time to go and buy the spells that i need before they manage to kill me and lo and behold i did now if you look at our inventory we are full of bags like literally every slot is taken by a bag and that's because uh I picked up another belt pouch and I picked up these two small bags here. So I'm going to have to make a trip to the bank and put some of these bags away. Um, I have four backpacks. My strength when it's buffed is like 100, almost 120. So I kind of think, you know, I can carry it. Um, Korvac, aka Wolfdar, recommended to me... He recommended that I buy large bags instead of backpacks, but I already got the backpacks. But if I buy any more, I'll listen to his advice. The large bags only have six slots instead of eight, but they only weigh one pound instead of uh, three pounds. So that's good, although my strength is so high, you know, it almost feels like I can afford the extra couple pounds of weight for the extra slots, but I don't need them, really. I really don't need them. Even with my strength this high, if I had a full complement of large bags, I would still probably end up encumbered before I ended up uh, full inventory. So where is the bank in this zone? So I'm gonna put some stuff in the bank. I'm gonna remem my spells. I got my new dot sicken. Not very strong, but when soloing, probably good. If I'm gonna go up against a white or a yellow, it takes their HP regen out of the equation. And over the course of the fight, it does a decent amount of damage. With this mace, I'm crushing it, hitting for like 16 damage per, like, max damage per hit. Sometimes it hits for 17, I don't know why. But 16 seems to be the usual max. And I've also got my piercing leveled up because I found a rusty spear, and I'm like, well, let me uh, let me hold on to this and level up my piercing because I know at some point Shaman's going to be using a spear. They, they all seem to use spears. I don't know why. But our one-hand blunt's at 28. Piercing's at 26. Defense is at 30. That's our cap right now. So we're capped on defense. It's really nice. feels great. We're really right up there on our melee skills. Even our casting skills are pretty good. We got a clarity buff from the same enchanter who said, why don't you loot some of the shields I leave behind? And um, while we were just, we just decided to use that clarity to just practice our alteration and obturation. We're going to have to practice conjuration now, which makes me want to get up um, summon drink. I'm going to pop that up right now so that I can burn some mana and then go find the bank that way my mana will be regening during that time then I can burn some more mana and push our conjuration up so that we can start using our new dot and uh yeah gonna do all of that and get ready and then go hit the grind again show you the the mobs we've been killing lately we're killing frog locks oh that reminds me I think I have some quest to turn in items now so gonna go turn in a quest and see how much we get XP wise and also we're gonna get a two hand slash weapon. I'll ask Corvo if he if he wants one and if he doesn't I will just sell them and we'll see how much money we make from that. I'm gonna pause it for now. Alright, so the first quest we're gonna do, you can hear the uh, fireworks for Chinese New Year. I hope you can still hear me. They're pretty loud. The first quest we're going to do is with Ranger here. He's an SK. And what we do 
Let me double check to make sure. Is we give him froglock meek and two froglock tadpole flesh. But I found another quest that involves the same froglock meek. When I was just trying to look up this one. There's one, two, and it's gonna give me an item with some stats. It's just some resist. But still pretty nice. It's some gloves called the oven mitts. That's in the Inethil Swamp though. Alright, froglock meat. Let's see how much XP we get. We're at 73. Went to 74, but we got this rusty two-handed battle axe. Not so great. Let's ask Corvok if he's if he's interested. Would you like a uh, Oh, he's already doing... Sounds like yours is better, though. So, he's doing a quest where he kills ogres, and he gets a two-hand blunt that's 1750, which is much better than 949. So, not great, but it probably sells for a pretty penny. Can make us some extra money. We're going to need 10 gold for our oven mitts that we're going to pick up in the... Uh, in the... What's it called? The Inethil Swamp. That's where we do that one. Yep. He's got a rusty two-hand sword, so he doesn't need this. So we need, we're just going to save three froglock meats for the other quests. And we're going to do this as many times as we can. So we get axes that we can sell. Why does I feel... Why did it feel like he just ate that one? I didn't hear any sound. But I saw an axe up here, so I don't think he just ate it. And here's the last one. There we go. So, got a little bit of experience, but we got a lot of axes. We are almost encumbered, actually. Let's see what they sell for. You're not a... you're not a vendor? Okay, oh, oh, hey, oh. Where am I? Okay, there's the bridge. Then I think we went... yes, this is the way. This is the way we go to vendor. Go to vendor. Go to vendor. Alright, let's see what they give us. Two gold, three silver. So, kind of worth it, actually. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So we got more than a platinum off of that. That's a thing of butte. A thing of butte. So we, we got our dots for level, we got our dot for level 5, and we got our dot for level 9, and I think I got an, one of my endure spells for level 9. Now we have some money, looks like we got about 4 platinum for our level 8 spells, but those spells are so expensive, I think we got enough for like one of them, literally. And of course, if we're only going to get one, it's probably going to be Sal. But we still got some leveling to do. We're only level 6, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to afford 2 or even 3 before the time comes. Next, we're going to head to Inithil Swamp, and we're going to do our other quest turn-in, and then we'll get back to the grind. As you can see, someone's always killing these guards. Classic was complaining about it. The good thing is they usually don't need the shields, so if you want, it's a good way to make some cash. But I'm not going to sit and shield hunt. That doesn't sound like a true solo self found. I already picked up a few and got a bit of a boost from it. I think that's enough. Alright, so we have to go find this guy in this zone first. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was going to do some summoning drinks to burn some mana. I forgot to do that. That's a bunch of free regen time that was wasted. I also could have gone and trained my conjuration, but I'm going to keep that for for later. I don't know why. I should probably just burn through my trade. See, we're at 9. I already trained it up to 8. This is my first conjuration spell that I've used. So... Let me burn all my mana, and then we'll go find this quest turn in. I forgot that since I don't have Meditate, it still takes me forever to s memorize spells. Um, it does increase in speed, even without Meditate, once you get 
a higher level than the spell itself, but this is a level 5 spell, and I'm level 6. You can see how slowly it's going. Hey, <laughs> hey. I, uh... Finished memming our spell, so we're ready for anything that might happen out there. Gonna give ourselves a full complement of buffs. This is the expensive one. 71% mana goes down to 40. So that's 31% mana cast for Feel Like Cat. And it's really kind of probably an expendable buff, but we're doing it anyway. We got it. We're doing it. Now we're ready to go find Carver Kagrik. All right, judging by the location on the P99 wiki, he's north of the entrance to Guk, but not too far north of it. So we've got to just we got to make a run for it anyway, but that's kind of where we're going to be hunting anyway. So we're going to pick up some oven mitts. They have AC4, will be a 2 increase in AC and plus we get like 5 uh fire resistance, I think. I'm guessing because of the name, I don't actually remember. I'm just guessing cuz they're called oven mittens and he's a cook. So we'll gain 2 AC, basically, because I don't think the extra 5 fire is going to do much for us. Our fire resistance is very low. It's at 5. That's probably because we're trolls. And in lore, if you like played Skyrim, right, trolls are weak against fire. And, you know, in The Hobbit, trolls burn in the sunlight. So fire is their weakness. I guess this will help offset that. It'll bring our fire resistance to 10. Whoop-de-doo. Uh, basically, we're still going to be taking full fire damage whenever it's cast at us. <laughs> now I remember I was watching Classic's video and he was, no I was playing with Classic and he was complaining about how it seemed like, um, and I was watching the numbers on his video. If you watch the numbers on his video, it seems very much like I am doing more damage than him sometimes with the melee. And I think that's a lot because, here you can watch me take out this white. Just look how much we pwn them. We're at 77%. Let's see what it goes up to. Let's get away from the, the guards of Guk so we don't get any ads when he runs. Um, that might be because I was using a blunt weapon and he was using piercing and slashing. A gargoyle is what? A gargoyle is like rock, right? And someone was telling me, a mage was telling me that... He, Certain, if you use cold against the halfling deputies, they have very low cold resistance. And in this particular server, all that kind of lore was put into it. So maybe because gargoyles are made of rock, it was more difficult for him to do damage with his piercing and, um, what's it called? Piercing and slashing weapons. And maybe it was easier to do damage with my blunt weapon, right? A hammer is a good weapon against the rock. 3%. So see, the XP is great. Like, he hurt me a bit, but my regen, watch this, I sit down for a second, 56%, 59% HP already. So I regen quick. I mean, I would have to meditate anyway to regain some mana. So really killing it. Probably shouldn't even use the sickened dot right now. It doesn't make that big of a difference. It hits for 8 right out the gate, and then you get 2 per tick. So see, 2, 4, 6, 8... 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So 22. We got 30 damage out of it. But our Frost Rift, I think, is doing like 12 or 14. Let's look at the mana cost difference. Sicken costs 30 mana. Where is my Frost Rift? Oh, Frost Rift costs 15. So we only got six more damage per mana, right? Um, yeah. Should probably wait until our conjuration skill is a bit higher. Okay, now we're getting close. The num numbers are about to turn positive. Guck seems to be the zero, the zero out point. Nobody's killing the guards, or is there only one guard? I want to kill him in case there's two. That way he'll be down. And I'm not even going to cast on him. We're just going to melee him and bring him over here. Because our mana regens so slowly. We do this as often as we can. Our HP regens quick and we don't take much damage. So this one's a blue, not a white. We're at 80%. It'll take us up to 81, maybe even 82. 
That's how fast XP has been coming, but I, st I guess I still got a ways to go. Corvac's already nine. I was on earlier, and I got to six. Corvac was, he said he was five. I saw him on at seven, and now he's nine. So he pushed, I think he pushed hard to get to nine, get those spells, right? So he's, he's ready to be the tank for the group. He'll be higher level, I think, than most of the other players in the group. 82, so we got 2% for that. We gained mana, we gained HP. It's crazy. All right, so let me recheck the location on this Carver guy. Uh, 377 positive, negative 450. So we're almost there. There we go. We're at about equivalent with the positive portion. Now we need to get the negative without getting in too much trouble here. But it looks like these are the kind of mobs we could handle. This feels like he should be like right here. It's interesting because I don't see Carver. I don't see any troll, and I and I, d I don't imagine there would be a troll right there. So let me double check this. Carver Grok, he's in Grob. I was I could have sworn it said he was in Inithil Swamp. Oh no, it was saying the related zone was Inithil. I. Well, we don't really need those mitts so badly, so we're gonna get to the grind. I'm going to show you what I've been doing around here. Lanuga's going to be killing some of our trolls, probably. Oh no, I th is she the one that doesn't... I mean, killing some of our frogs. I can't remember if she's the one that does or does not kill the frogs, though. Swamp Alligator, not a bad choice. We'll continue to let mana regenerate. The only problem with the Swamp Alligator, though, is it swims so fast. If you let it get to the water, you're kind of in trouble. <coughs> So we're going to be ready with my nuke, which I moved to 6. It was on 5. That was not a good idea. I should have kept it the same and put the dot on 6. Especially now that it's going to be hard to to move. And we're just going to nuke it so we don't have to deal with it getting in the water. Now we're right on the borderline, I think, of the mobs getting harder. This is the mobs. These are the mobs we've been killing. Level 4, um, I mean, well, yeah, maybe they're level 4, level 3, level 4, level 5, occasionally higher. These are like level 2. They're no longer, the fishermen are what we like. I think they're like 4 or 5, 4, 5, or 6 even. They're the sweep of spot. Now you can see it's easy to get ads, but look at how buff we are. Like look how much we're kissing, kicking this guy's butt. A lot of these frog lucks have greened out, so they will not add um, if they walk by. This one, I don't know. Some of them are still blue, so we could easily take both of them, and we might end up having to anyway. But we're going to back up for a second. Now we don't want the frogs to get away either. Unfortunately, I accidentally cast my dot instead of my nuke. Okay, we got to change that. If we have time to met it up, I d to memorize it, I kind of doubt it, because it takes so long, and there's so many pathing mobs here. All right, we actually did pull off memorizing those spells. Lucky us. So this is an easy hunting ground. It'd be a good place for us to use our spear. Hold on. All right. So these mobs will be easy and still good XP. So we will kill some of them. There's the Slayer Captain. Looks like he was in trouble. Is he getting killed right now? Might be getting killed. Yeah, we can continue to hunt some frog lock fishermen. But if I move a little bit further north, the level range will go up with frog lock foragers and kobold hunters. Now when I went there to pick up my spells, the, the hunters were conning yellow. And the forager was conning... I think the forager conned blue, but I'm sure they go from blue to white to yellow, you know, like that. It must have been a lower level one, which is probably like level five. Like I, I can't imagine it being any lower than that. So that would be a bit tougher, but more kind of more appropriate for our level range when you consider them single. Of course, you don't always get single, as you can see. Luckily, that frog looks green, so he's not going to add on. And luckily, we have this epic mace. But what we're going to do is, well, not right. I'd like to kill one first. We're going to switch to my rusty spear. 
because I think our one hand blunt is maxed out, but our piercing is not. So let's give it a chance to level up since we're doing good. Now the way I find quests in this game is I don't look up the quests, I don't look up a zone and see what quests are there in this zone. I kill stuff and I loot, and then every item that I pick up, I pick up everything, especially when I'm a troll with 118 strength buffed. Every item I pick up, I look it up on the wiki, and it will tell me the quests associated with it. And I'll see the ones that are worth doing and in my locale. So that's how I found this oven mitten quest. That's also how I found the quest that I did for the two-handed axes. And it's also how I found the quest I did earlier, turning in snake skins and bone chips to my guildmaster. Alright. We don't want him to get away. He's running right at like maximum HP. So we throw a nuke in there. There we go, 89%. So you see, XP is just flying. And it's relatively unchallenging, like I can just keep going. This guy's blue. Let's go, buddy. This guy's gotta be just barely blue. The frog locks, I think only the highest level frog locks are still blue to me. The other ones are green, so that's what, like level 3? Look at his HP flying down. And I'm only hitting for a max of 8. But they're still good for skill ups. And also, it's nice to keep the uh, keep the place clear. I shouldn't have nuked him, I should have just chased him down. And I gained mana. My regen is so good, I gained mana on that particular fight. Froglock Fishermen are the next tier. After Froglocks, you have the Fishermen. Froglocks must go um, to level level two, three, maybe four, two, three, four, maybe. Fishermen maybe go f four, five, six. Foragers maybe go five, six, seven. That's what I'm thinking. I didn't look at the wiki or anything. There we got piercing up to twenty-seven. I think it caps out at twenty-eight. Someone and I, f I'll look it up in a second after I do this kill so I can mention their actual name. There we go, Max Piercing. Someone in my comments told me the formula for the level ups for the skills, and they're different than I thought. I thought it was always multiples of five, but apparently no. For weapon skills for priest class, it's like uh, your level times Four and then like plus four, so it ends up being like 28 like this somehow. Or it's, yeah, your level times four, so I'm currently six times four would be 28. Yeah. No, six times four would be 24, then plus four is 28. So like that, apparently. And that advice was from Riocard Paeda. Thank you, Riocard. Is it Riocard or is it Ricardo? It's Riocard Paeda. Gracias, senor. All right. So we know that our piercing is maxed, so we don't need to bother with it for now. We can bust out our big gun, capable of crushing for 16 damage double what that little rusty shortened spear could do. 91%. This is probably the lowest level blue we could find, so I'm only expecting to get 1% here. I really should take him out of the water, but um, yeah, let's go for it. He's so short he has to swim, but I can still walk. Oh, nice, got some cloth. It went up 2%. Isn't that a thing of beauty? But we're going to start to work our way. Now that we're getting to, like, f look at it. full HP, full mana. We're going to start to work our way north. And maybe, perhaps, just maybe, we're going to hit him, this guy with a sicken. We can start taking out some harder mobs. Whites, maybe even yellows, although they don't seem to be efficient. You don't get enough XP to make it worth the, 
the downtime and the closeness of the fight. Like, I did a couple yellows recently, even though I'm undergeared, but I have this mace and I got the troll regen. And I ended up killing him with like 30% HP left and like no mana. I was like chain nuking while I was fighting, right? And I got like 4 of maybe even 5%, but then I had to sit down and meditate for a while. Whereas like killing blues or whites, look at that. I can just go, keep going, and I kill him so fast. Kill him faster, can keep going. So we are working a bit north. There's another fisherman. We're going to see if we can't grab him from the shore, but there seems to be a problem. See, there's a problem with casting on mobs in the water. Um, on P99, I think it just says, oh, you cannot see your target. Like, it'll cast all the way, and then be like, oh, you cannot see your target, or something like that. But on this server, it lets you cast. It lets you waste the mana. And then it informs you that you cannot see the target. But it's okay. This is a blue. We shouldn't even be casting anyways. We should be saving our precious mana since we don't have meditate. And just bashing them down. Letting that mana grow and grow and grow so that if we do aggro or decide to pull something that's difficult, we'll be ready with a bunch of mana for nuking and dotting or whatever we want to do. Or even healing. I haven't really tried to heal yet in mid-fight. Don't get to the water, hit him. I, uh, it's okay, he's still pretty slow. There we go. Got 1%, 96. See, now there is a froglock forager. He is conning blue, but I guarantee you he's going to be something a little bit harder. So I'm going to hit him with a sicken. Just to make sure, because this is actually the first one that I've tried. We're entering, you know, more difficult territories now. This one should give us like 2%, maybe even 3 and we're going to ding in another kill or two. This is probably level 5, like just under us, to be honest. Uh-oh, looks like we're about to get an ad. Let's see if we can avoid that. We did. Let's even bring him more on the land, so that way, when we get him to run, it takes him longer to get to a swimming position. Once they start swimming, you're kind of in trouble. Maybe we don't have to cast again. There we go. 99. Got 3% off of him. Next kill is a ding. Level 7. Let's see if Corvac's still at it. He is. He's in Caladum. He's still level 9. Alright, let's take a break, let our HP recover, and let the mana recover a bit. Now you'll notice that some days I'll release two videos, and that's because all my other characters, like Marrow, Sendrith, and Miana, I only want to release one video a day, so they'll be like, if I record two sessions in one day, they just have to go to the back of the line. It might be like four, even five days out from now. But this particular series, because the people watch, some of the people watching it are participating with this character, I try to release it like the next day. Unfortunately, that might not be able to happen while I'm in the countryside like this right now, because I'm on Wi-Fi, and I don't want to be uploading a 1080p DP video through the data, right? Because it'll just chew up all my data. Uh-oh. Cobalt Hunter jumped us, and he is yellow. So we're in for we're in for a treat here, hey boys. We're probably gonna die, but we're gonna give it a shot. Give him the old dot, and then some chain nukes to see if we can't catch up, because he's got a good lead on us. We weren't full health yet, and he gave us some good hits. All right, we're out of mana, but we got him dotted, and if we can just land a couple of good hits, it's not looking good. Oh, I don't want to remember my spells. Do I run for Guck? There we go, we got him with a 16. Give me another one. A 7. Oh, you're not really making a good sale right here. Come on, EQ. Well, he's missing, he's missing. He hit me for 5. Oh, gosh, I think I should run. It might be too late, actually. And, uh... Yeah, it's too late. We gotta, we gotta give it a try. It's our only hope. 33, 16. Oh, gosh, please, RNG. Do I have an ad? I feel like I have an ad. Nope. Oh, 
Oh gosh, 7% HP, he's got 22, 20, we got 3, he's gonna win this unless, yeah. Darn it, I gotta remem all those spells. <laughs> no, okay, we're not going there. We're not going that far north. The mob density is too high. The hunter, I wasn't planning on fighting the hunters, I was just gonna get those foragers, but the fishermen are, are still cranking it out for us, XP wise. We're about to ding. We're gonna ding off those fishermen. And we're going to get our skills up. Defense, offense, one hand blunt at least. And then, maybe, maybe then we will venture forth. But for now, before we start, well, let me at least, let me just mem one spell so I can practice, uh, practice my conjure. You got to be kidding me, dude. Really? I don't even want to deal with you right now, dude. Basher, bash. Just gonna mem that one spell. And then we're gonna go turn in my quest and look at my new quest item. Alright, so I'm a little bit confused. The quest list carver or whatever is being like right here. Like literally right where you see this dwarven torso. Which actually might make a nice screenshot. Let's do that. <laughs> it's listed that he's right here. I don't know if he's getting killed. I don't think he is getting killed. Oh, look, these are lootable. Let's make a little more money, shall we? I do want to pick up all my level 9 spells. We might be traveling soon to go play with uh, Korvac and or Kilowatt. But, you know, I don't see the Carver. I don't see the Carver. I think he's supposed to be up here. Maybe he's getting killed. His respawn time is not mentioned. But that's the only thing I could imagine. Nothing on the wiki says anything about him being added at a later expansion that might not be out yet or anything like that. So we might just be SOL. Oh, okay. Okay, apparently he's going to pop in about five minutes. And, uh... We can do our turn in, they said. We're going to chill here, and we're going to practice some casting while we wait. And the turn in, I do believe, will ding us. We're, we only need 1%. Right? Kind of a cool way to ding. We'll ding level 7, getting our first piece of gear with stats. There go the firecrackers. 